guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for the day? Hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go. The nugget today is, and it came to pass. But before I get to run my mouth, let's go do a shake of this manifestation jar. And then we're going to talk about it, okay? I pulled out two, and we have what? Stay aligned and connected, and we'll continue doing that all day long. And last but not least is what? A healing. Congratulations. Listen. And it came to pass. When you hear that phrase, what do you think about? You think that what? Somebody spoke a word beforehand. And, and it came to pass is the manifestation of that word that was spoken. I know that God spoke something or some things into your life, right? I know he has because he's spoken it into mine. The thing is, you got to make sure you stay planted, which means what? Stay aligned and connected. Why? Because when you're aligned and connected, God is able to lead you to the place where you're supposed to be. In other words, be at the right mark so that you can receive that thing. The thing is, when we're not all the way aligned and connected, we are not at the mark to receive. So when it's taking a long time for us to receive, you know what we start doing? We start to question ourselves. Questioning ourselves. Was that God really speaking to me? Did God really tell me that? Maybe I was just talking to myself. Maybe that was just my self-conscious mind. Just doing what it, what it, what it. Or, or the person that brought you the word and told you that God told them to tell you something, you would look at them like they're lying. You say, I knew they weren't real. They lied to me. God didn't tell them nothing. And then if you ain't doing that over there, you'll say, God, why you didn't keep your word? Now you're calling God a lie. And God say he is not a man that he should what? That he should lie. He ain't got to lie about nothing. He comes through with his word. Why? Because his word cannot return back into him void. That's why he has to perform what he tells you. The thing is, you're not all the way aligned and connected, so you're missing the mark. You're missing the mark. The promises is still yay and amen for you. It is. You just got to get and stay aligned and connected. Get in the space of being grateful. Get in the space of being thankful. Get in the space of being positive. Get in the space of keeping a smile on your face. Get in the space of treating people nice. Get in the space of love. Knowing who you are at core. Knowing that the best is yet to what? come. Exactly. And when you know that, then that phrase, and it came to pass, will utter out of your mouth. You will utter that out of your mouth. And it came to pass, I became an entrepreneur. And it came to pass, I received my healing. And it came to pass, I received my new car. And it came to pass, I got my new house. And it came to pass, I got married. And it came to pass, I got kids. And it came to pass, I became a multimillionaire. And it came to pass, da 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 da. You'll be saying all that. You'll be uttering that out of your mouth. Why? Because you was at the right place at the right time. Why? Because you were being led by God. You were. You will utter those words. And it came to pass. God keeps his promises. He will keep his promise to you. You just make sure you get in the, the space, the mentality of saying this every single morning when you wake up. Whether you see the manifestation or not, you should start getting used to what saying these words. And it came to pass. Because sometimes you believe, but you really don't believe. <laughs> am I telling the truth? Who am I talking to? I know I was talking to myself a few minutes ago. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. You believe, but you really don't believe. Especially if what God has promised you, you ain't never seen it before in your family. You ain't never seen it before with your friends. You ain't never seen it before with your coworkers. You have never seen it before in your culture. You believe, but you don't believe. And it came to pass. Y'all know that phrase, and it came to pass, is in the Bible over 1,000 times. I think it's over, over 1,100 times. It may be 1,200 and something, okay? It's over there. It is. But whenever I'm reading the word, and it doesn't matter what I'm reading in there, when I see the phrase, and it came to pass, your girl get to cutting the food. Yes, I do. I be like, this thou the, and the sun turned da 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 da, and it came to pass. Oh, yes, it came to pass. Thank you, God. You keeping your promises with me. Because then it came to pass lets me know that the words, like I said, spoken beforehand, manifested. 
That's what that means. Whatever was, was spoken, it manifested. God spoke that into your life. God told you some things. Some of y'all gave up. Some of you are about to give up, but I'm here to remind you. And it came to pass. That's all I want to tell you today. And it came to pass. You got to put yourself in the space to really believe and trust God and know that he will perform his word. He will. He'll make sure that you get what he has what, spoken beforehand. He's not going to turn back now. You just got to make sure you're at the right place at the right time. And in order to be their own time, you've got to be led by God. He knows all the shortcuts. He knows how to get you to weave in between stuff that's blocking your way. You can't have any resistance, especially not for you. It's different when somebody else is trying to put a roadblock in front of you because they don't like you, because they don't want to see you prosper, because they don't want to see that promise come to pass in your life. That's one thing for them to put it there. God knows how to get you around that. But when it's you blocking you, come on now. God gave you free will. So if you over there in your mental thinking negative, God can only keep reminding you through me to say, hey, listen, and it came to pass. God got you, boo. Everything is okay. Everything is working out for your good. God will keep his promises. So I got to keep reminding you to get you out of that mental thinking over there. Some of y'all just thinking so poorly and so badly about yourself. And it's not the truth. Who cares you don't have a high school diploma? Do you know how many people growing up way back in the day didn't even have a third grade education, but they own their own business? That's what I'm talking about. So don't you put yourself down because you think you missed out on something. Listen, if you want a degree, go back to school and get one. Do it online. But don't let that be an excuse for you to talk about yourself. Because God says what? I know the thoughts I think of you. You know I read that to you. He said, I know the thoughts that I think of you. And they are good. They are good. They are. They're good. Good thoughts of you. He knows how he sees you. Let somebody talk about somebody in my family. I'm going to be like, no, you finna stop that. Even if one of my siblings started saying stuff about themselves, and I'm like, what did you just say about my sister? What did you just say about my brother? And it could be my brother or my sister saying something. Or it could be my cousin or my sister. I'm like, uh-huh, don't talk about yourself like that. And it could be me. They'll, talk, they'll stop me. Because that's not how God sees me. And that's not how God sees you. I don't care what's going on in your life. God sees you perfect. He sees you a far ahead of time. He knows you got some growing to, go, grow, growing to do. You just got to get to growing. So you're looking at yourself right now. And you're supposed to be looking at yourself further ahead. That's what, that's what get us stuck. Y'all, I'm already at 10 minutes. But we get ourselves stuck by looking at ourselves in the now, right now. I don't have this, and I don't have that. And this is going on with me, and this is going on with me. Well, have you stopped to think what God promised you? And can you look further ahead along the way and say, you know what? I may look like this right now, but I know what God said. But I know when a time comes, I'm going to look like this. I'm going to be that multimillionaire. I'm going to have my healing. I'm going to have my car, my home, my husband, my wife, those of you who want to get married. I will have kids. You got to see yourself there. If you don't have the vision, then you ain't going to be to be able to move forward. Since so write the vision and make it plain. If you can't see it, then how you going to be it? God already spoke the word. Now you got to see it. You got to see it. If God said that you're going to be a multimillionaire, you can't be over there thinking that I'm poor and I'm lacking this and I don't have that. No, 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 no. Your mentality, me mentality has got to change. It has got to change. You got to start thinking like a multimillionaire. You got to start looking at things, looking, looking at uh, videos and reading books of how multimillionaires behave, where they go, where they going frequent at, where they going sip tea at, what kind of foods do they eat? Do they work out? Do they eat feta cheese? Do they eat mozzarella cheese? Do they eat prime rib? Find out stuff about, about multimillionaires. You know why you should do that? 
Because when you do become one, like God says you're going to become one, when you get to that space and you're around other multimillionaires, you won't feel out of place. You do know that, right? A lot of times when God bless you with things and you have prepared and have not prepped yourself for it, when you get your blessing, get that promise, you feel so out of place because you don't think you deserve it. It's only because you have prepared for it. You have not prepared for that thing. You asking God for this nice, beautiful home. And where you live now, if you look outside, you may not like the surroundings where you are. Well, you gotta get used to in your mind thinking, okay, the neighborhood I wanna live in may have these type of people in. I ain't telling you to be like anybody else, but I want you to appreciate where you are so when you get there, you won't feel out of place. Listen, God see you far ahead like I told you before. You got to see yourself there. And it came to pass. You will utter those words. You are going to utter those words. And it came to pass. God got you. He's going to come through for you. You make sure you're at the right place at the right time. So you can receive. And start prepping. Start preparing yourself. See yourself the way God sees you. I told you God said he knows the thoughts that he thinks of you. He knows those thoughts that he thinks of you. He does. And they are good thoughts. They are grand. When he made, when he get, had you in mind, he had you in mind with something great. God don't make just so anything. He don't allow just so anything to be birthed into this earth. No. Something special about you. Like it's something special about me. And I'm going to rock out in my specialness. Yes, I am. I am. Because if other people think I'm not supposed to be there, not. Ask me if I care. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. There are people right now think that I don't deserve what I have. They really think I ain't work hard for it. But I know they lying. I know they lying. I know the sacrifices. I know the tests and trials. I know the hard work. I have. Tried and tested. And still been trying to test why? Because your girl go up and up and up and up. I'm still, I still got some other places I got to get to. And got to be and got to get. Be, do, and have with my entire family. I ain't stopping. No. I'm going to get it while the getting is good. As long as God says it's plenty, I'm going to keep on. Keep on. And keep on getting it. As long as, he, as long as he allow me to breathe, I'm going to keep on getting it. And that's the attitude you got to have. You can't stop when you get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Keep moving forward. Because the little bit of this that you have right now, you're going to outgrow it. The closer you get to God, you're going to outgrow that thing. So God, as, as much as you outgrow stuff, God will continue to what? Speak things into your life. Which means that well, you have a lifetime journey of what? And it came to pass. A lifetime journey of what? And it came to pass. The more you grow, the more God will speak into your life. He never keeps us stagnant. Never. Never keeps us in one place. He's always keeping us moving forward to better and greater things. So listen, if you want to utter those words, and it came to pass, get and stay all the way aligned and connected. Think positive. Think possible. Be grateful. Be thankful. Don't be entitled over there. Don't say, well, I should have had this a long time. No, God's timing is not your timing. God's timing is not your timing. And if you over there being ungrateful and unthankful, guess what? You're not growing. You're not learning the lesson. So get to learn the lesson. Be in the space, the attitude, and the mentality where you're supposed to be. And watch how you will utter those words. And it came to pass. I want the best for y'all. Why? Because God said he has the best for you. So go get it. Go get it. And then what Mary Mary say? Go get your blessing. Go get it. Go get it. Go get your blessing. What did I say? Because it's your time. It's your time. Say you've been qualified. You've been qualified and certified. God will not promise you something that you are not qualified or certified for. And you know you're verified because he the one gave it to you. He the one promised it to you. So you, it's verified if he promised it to you. I just want to tell you that you are qualified and you are certified. You are. 
So get to uttering those words. Start today. And it came to pass. 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 pass. In other words, God's word will manifest. Just do what you're supposed to do. Trust God and watch what happens. I hope y'all got this thing. I'm over 15 minutes. I told y'all if it got good, I was going to keep on talking. I hope I wasn't rambling too much, and I hope you understood it. But if you didn't, you better do what? Rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to wear a mask or smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Guess what? And it came to pass. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.